Jervois Blue was the name of the first French nuclear test. It was an atomic bomb detonated near Regan, in the middle of the Algerian Sahara Desert on 13 February 1960, during the Algerian War. General Pierre-Marie Galois was instrumental in the endeavor and earned the nickname of Père de la Bombe. Jervois is the French word for Jaboa, a desert rodent found in the Sahara, while blue is the first color of the French tricolor flag. So the second and third bombs were named respectively, white and red, the remaining colors of the flag. The most powerful first test A-bomb, with Jervois blue, France became the fourth nuclear power, after the United States, the USSR, and the United Kingdom. Jervois Blue was by far the largest first test bomb up to the date, larger than the American Trinity, the Soviet RDS-1, or the British Hurricane. The yield was 70 kilotons, bigger than these three bombs put together. General de Gaulle stated, in comparison, Fat Man, the Nagasaki bomb, was 22 kilotons, one-third as powerful. Only two other A-bombs tested in the Sahara facilities were more powerful, Rubis, and Safir. Both were detonated underground at the Tanafella facility. All other French atomic bomb tests, including Canopus, were carried out in French Polynesia from 1966. 1996. The last bomb, Zalthos, was detonated on 27 January 1996. As the atomic yield of a new bomb design cannot be precisely predicted, the French army planned an explosion between 60 and 70 knots. Jervois Blue was a total success, yielding the full designed power. Critics and International Reactions According to Lieutenant Colonel Warner D. Farr in a report to the USAF Counterproliferation Center, progress in nuclear science and technology in France and Israel remained closely linked throughout the early 50s. Furthermore, according to Farr, there were several Israeli observers at the French nuclear tests and the Israelis had unrestricted access to French nuclear test explosion data. Due to increasing criticism, France stopped its atmospheric tests in the desert, and conducted further underground tests months after Algerian independence in 1962 according to secret agreements with the FLN. From February 1960 to April 1961, France tested a limited number of atmospheric bombs in Regan facilities C, SEM, the four Jervois bombs. Three of them were only engines to seconds, with yields deliberately reduced to less than 5 kilotons. With the underground tests the sequence designation was changed to dual names, starting in November 1961 with Agat. On 1 May 1962, during the second test, the barrel incident occurred, which was declassified many years later. Five months after the last Jervois A-bomb, the Soviet Union responded by breaking its atmospheric tests moratorium, settled de facto since late 1958 with the United States and the United Kingdom. The USSR conducted many improvement tests, starting in September 1961 with a series of 136 large H-bombs. The series included the most powerful bomb ever tested, the 50-megaton Tsar Bomber, which was detonated Dover Nova Assemblia. Following the USSR, the United States reactivated its own atmospheric test program with a series of 40 explosions from April 1962 to November 1962. This series included two powerful H bombs topping 7.45 MT and 8.3 MT. 
China also launched its own nuclear program, resulting in the A-bomb 596, tested on 16 October 1964, and the H-bomb test No. 6, tested 17 June 1967. In 1968, France detonated its first thermonuclear weapon, P. Canopus, at the new facility at Fang Atau for a desert atoll in French Poland. Indonesia program. The 13th of February 1960, Jerboys Blue, 70 knots. The 1st of April 1960, Jerboys Blanche and LT, 5 knots. The 27th of December 1960, Jerboys Rouge and LT, 5 knots. The 25th of April 1961, Jerboys Vert and LT, 1 knot. Jerboys Rouge was followed by a joint exercise, in which infantry, helicopters and armor reconnoitered the contaminated area. Jerboys Vet was intended to yield between 6 and 18 kilotons but effectively yielded less than 1. Like Jerboys Rouge, it was followed by a joint exercise in the contaminated area codenamed Garagliano. The test had been patched up hastily and fired prematurely because of the Algiers Putsch, as it was feared that the nuclear bomb could fall in the hands of seditious elements. Specifics Time 604 the 13th of February 1960 Location Tanis Ruft Test height and type, tower, 100 meters, yield, 70 knots. 